The total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024, has captured worldwide attention. This rare celestial event, visible across North and Central America, has sparked excitement among passionate astronomy, educators, and the general public. But beyond its scientific significance, this eclipse holds spiritual parallels that resonate with biblical narratives. The eclipse in Jonah. The eclipse draws comparisons to the biblical story of Jonah, Jonah 117, who spent three days in the belly of a great fish before being released in Nineveh. Interestingly, the eclipse's path of totality is set to cross over seven cities named Nineveh across the United States, sparking discussions about potential biblical connections and prophecies. Jesus himself referred to Jonah's experience as a sign. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a great fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew 12, 40. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day after his crucifixion, fulfilling this pattern. Celestial signs in God's covenant. Genesis 1, 14 and 15 speaks of the celestial bodies, sun, moon, and stars created by God to serve as signs marking time and seasons. When we witness phenomena like eclipses, whether solar or lunar, or observe the alignment of planets and constellations, we're reminded of a deeper spiritual significance. These celestial events act as memorials, calling to mind the sacred covenant established by God with Abraham. Jesus embodies this covenant, serving as a living testament to God's faithfulness. Third Day Patterns Throughout Scripture, we find third day patterns that reveal spiritual truths. Genesis 1.12 And the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. This echoes the theme of new life and resurrection. Vegetation emerges. On the third day of creation, the earth brought forth vegetation, seed-bearing plants of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit. Genesis 22, 4 and 5. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship, and we will come back to you. God provided a ram as a substitute foreshadowing Christ's sacrifice, Abraham's sacrifice. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw Mount Moriah where he intended to offer his son Isaac as a burnt offering. Yet he assured his companions, We will worship and return, release and freedom, Genesis 40, 20, and 21. Now it came to pass on the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast for all his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. Genesis 42, 17, 18. So he put them all together in prison three days. Then Joseph said to them the third day, Do this and live, for I fear God. These events signify deliverance and restoration. Israel's journey. On the third day, the Israelites requested Pharaoh's permission for a three-day journey to offer sacrifice in the desert to God, Exodus 3, 18. Their journey symbolized transformation and consecration. End of Darkness, Plague 9, The Plague of Darkness, in Egypt ended on the third day, bringing light to the Israelites' dwellings, Exodus 10, 22. It marked liberation from bondage. Mount Sinai Revelation, on the third day, God descended to Mount Sinai in fire with the sound of a shofar. He revealed the ten words, Israel's constitution of new life as a nation after their resurrection from slavery in Egypt. 